So both of my cameras are currently loaded and you can see that I'm not on the line and I'm really washed out. So we need to move the positioner and close the iris. So this icon right over here is close the iris. I'm going to close that up and I'm in the 2D mode which is indicated as this icon up here. And you can see that I'm off the line. I also need to zoom out. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom my lens out. Click this minus button here. And now I've got all eight lanes. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my pan right. And now I'm just slightly off the line. So I'm going to rotate it back to the left just a little bit. And there I'm in the middle. Try and tighten it up a little bit. I am off plane, but as you can tell, it's pretty crappy out. All right, I close my iris up. And now I'm going to raise the nose of the camera up just slightly. And then I'm going to zoom in by clicking this plus. Okay. And now I've got all eight lanes, but again, I don't need all of lane one, so I'm going to zoom or not zoom, but I'm going to move the nose of the camera up and rotate just a touch. And right now you can see my focus helper is at 125-ish. So now I'm going to close the 2D mode and go into the line scan mode. And I have focus lines in 2, 4, and 6. And I've got a pretty decent picture. I'll make some tweaks, but then I will align my lanes here so I have the proper zones. I have my gain at 85. I am set to manual gain. 2 million colors, zoom 100%. I have compression off. I'm running at 1500 frames a second. I'm going to back to, down to 1200. My height is at 640. My Lux Boost is currently at 2. And again, manual gain. And for the most part, I have a pretty good picture. I'm going to darken it up just a touch. And those the way you can go ahead and get your camera on the line and what you should be seeing. Again, the 2D mode is great. The green line indicates where the center of the sensor is. You should be good to go. So the other thing that you need to do after you get your camera aligned is you need to create your folders for the meet if you haven't done so already and then link them in finish links. So I already have my TF Meet 6 folder. This is my high-tech computer. So in my 2024 folder, I already have my Meet set up here. And now I'm going to make sure that I have everything set up on my Finish Links computer. And again, I have the folder set up here. So I'm going to go into my settings and make those changes. So. In my event directory, I'm going to change that. To my meet. If you were evaluating on another machine, you would need to change your backup directory, which I will do and send it over to the high tech machine. Not my C drive. I'm just going to throw it in that reports folder. Actually, I'll create a folder quick. And because it wasn't there when it first opened, It's not going to see that folder, so I'm going to cancel out and hit Browse again, and it should be there now. And there.
there it is so double click and hit OK so now I can back up all my files over to this directory and now my database I'm going to change that as well and again this is to pointing to my high-tech machine I save my high-tech files there And now my input and my output directory on the database tab are set in my event. This is where I'm going to store my images locally. By setting backup, this will copy what's in the event directory and paste it across the network and put it in this directory here. And again, database, this is where I'm getting my files from, high tech, so that I can pull my start list in. And now you can see when I go to that TF meets six on my high tech machine that I have links.ppl, links.sch, and links.evt. And those are the three files that Finish Links needs in order to populate the start list. So I'll hit OK and then hit my question mark here, load schedule, and now I have my events for today and I'm ready to run.